Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the HESI. We have been solving math problems out of this book here the HESI Admission Assessment Exam Review, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Right now, we are in the process of Right now, we are in the process of solving some division problems and we are on page number 6. Please turn to it. Page number 6. The topic is basic division and today is our lesson number 7. Let's take a look at, let's take a look at the very first problem. Now, before we get going actually, let me make a quick remark here. In order for you to do the division problem efficiently and the multiplication problem efficiently, as I reminded you last couple of days, you must know your timetables. You must know your timetables 1 through 12. And if you need some help with learning your timetables, you can watch these videos, Basic Math, in the series of Basic Math, day 1 through 12, where we learned our timetables. In addition to that, after we finish doing the problems that we have to do here, division problems, if you feel that you need more help, you need more practice, there are plenty more problems that you can work on. Division problem, that is, day 16, 24, 25, 26, 27, 77, 79, and 92. There's a plenty of practice there. Even if you want not to do all of them, at least do at least three or four, four days from here, and that will give you ample practice to get ready for any division problem or multipli multiplication problem that you may encounter on HESI or for that matter on T's. Let's do the very first one. It's asking us to do 40 divided by eight. 40 divided by eight. The example number example number one. Again, it's a simple matter. It's a simple matter of knowing your tables. If you know your tables of eight, you will know that eight fives are forty. Answer is five because why? Because eight eight fives are forty. That's how we speak. Eight fives are forty. And similarly, and similarly, had they asked us forty divided by five, the answer would have been eight. Because if eight fives are forty. And then it stands to reason, if 8 fives are 40, then it stands to reason that 5 eighths must also be 40. 5 eighths are 40, and 8 fives are 40, because 8 times 5 is 10, is 5 times 8, obviously. I know it's too basic, I understand that, it's very simple. Number 2. But, but you must know your tables, it comes in quite handy. 672. 672 divided by 6. Again, as I reminded you yesterday as to what we were about to do today, which is to learn how to do this division problem, not like a baby, not the long division like we do in, a, in, a, in the first and second grade, but in a quick way, without the long division. For example, here, 672 divided by 6 is what we're being asked to do. How many 6 does 6 have? 6 has only one 6. How many 6 does 7 have? 7 has 1 6. The remaining one goes, the remaining one goes and joins the 2 and becomes 12. And 12 has 2 6's. Let's see, there is your answer, 112. Now if you wish to verify it, if you wish to verify it, it only takes a few seconds to verify it. 112 times 6 and you will see that it will take us, it will take us back to 672. 2 6 are 12, 2 carry 1. 6 1's are 6, plus 1 is 7, and 6 1's are 6. 672, you see? Let's do the next one, number 3. Number 3. 174 divided by 5. 174 divided by 5. As you can clearly see, that 174 is not going to be evenly divisible by 5. And how do we know that? Because we know that a number has to end, the last digit of a number has to be either a 0 or a 5 in order for that number to be evenly divisible by 5. This one ends in neither 0 or 5, which means that we'll have a remainder. We'll deal with it when the time comes. How many 5 does 1 have? 1 has no 5s. That one goes and joins the 7 and becomes 17. Now we're no longer dealing with 7 or 1, we're dealing with two digits together as 17. How many 5's does 17 have? 17 has 3 5's. 3 5's are 15. 
3 5s are 15. But we use a 15 out of 17, we have a remainder of 2. That 2 goes and joins the 4 and becomes 24. It becomes 24. And how many 5s does 20, 24 have? The answer is 24 has 4 5s. 4 5s are 20. Well, we had 24, we use only 20, we have a remainder of 4. That remainder of 4 has to be divided by 5 because that's what we're dividing. We're dividing by 5. So that 4 has to be div divided by 5. And the final answer is 34 and 4 fifths. Now, if the answer choices in the exams are presented in a mixed number form like this, you're done. If the answer choices are presented to you in decimal form, then you have to go one more step and convert this into decimal, which is not a big deal. We have 4 fifths here. And as we know, 4 fifths, if you will multiply top and bottom by 2, it's okay to multiply 4 fifths by 2 over 2 because 2 over 2 is just 1. We haven't, we haven't, we haven't changed its value. Any, you can multiply any number by 1 and it still remains the same number. So now we have 4 times 2 on the top, which is 8. And on the bottom we have 5 times 2, which is 10. And we know that 8 divided by 10 is simply 0.8. And there is your answer. It's either 34 and 4 fifths or 34.8. Like I said, it depends on how the answer choices are presented to us. If they are presented to us in mixed fraction, then we were done at that stage. And if they're presented in decimal form, then you just have to do one extra step, that's all. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? I know.